What's up, everybody? I'm Nick Cato. And I'm Walter Boley. And this is Podcast Reloaded, episode 58. I'm beardless now. I had to trim it. I know. Oh, wow. Of... I just noticed. I... Yeah, I fucking hate it. God, I hate it. <laughs> I, I posted, like, a half my face, like, trimmed half of it, not pretty decent amount of hair. But I know someone in the comments was asking me about my beard. It's funny. In my uh, vlog of the house. Yeah. So, it was pretty funny. And I was like... Are you going to donate the beard hair? No, it's in my trash. <laughs> It'll be back better than ever. So I'm learning new things every day. But I keep it. Okay. But remember, guys, keep going to the blog. It looks through games. Blogspot.com. Keep e- emailing us, even though you never do. It looks through games at gmail.com. <laughs> keep commenting on the blog. You yeah, guys do do that. So you guys do do that. Thank you. Um, I made a new podcast reloaded logo, which you'll see on this video side. So. Thank you. Oh, shout, shout outs to the uh, one other skate fan oh. on the planet. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> I knew there'd be another one. There has to be. We see, we, we find each other, Nick, all of these skate fans out here. Oh, all this, all of Skate two skate or fans. three is going to be backwards compatible soon. I can't remember which one. How about this? If you don't get a new skate, but they did skate three remastered, you'd be okay? I wouldn't be okay. I mean, I'd buy it, but I wouldn't be like, oh, thank God. Oh, yes. Like, <laughs> a new skate. But... I mean, I'd be like, yeah, new skate. You know what's holding it up? The pro skaters don't want to do anything with it. Because, like, in Skate 1, 2, and 3, it was all pro skaters all over the place. Rob Deerdeck. Got Lil Wayne and <laughs> Pro Skater 5. <laughs> Skateboarders <laughs> were, you know, helping the game. And you know what, EA? You don't need the professional skateboarders' help. You can just make a skate game with all fictional characters. Yeah. And I'll buy it. If you need me to buy two, I'll buy two. No, you won't. I mean, I won't. Yeah, you won't, but... <laughs> All right, so... This is a little, little bullshit plug as well. I started an MMA blog. Now I'm going to do an MMA podcast. If you like mixed martial arts, go to Live Through Game... Or, God damn it. <laughs> live Through MMA. Blogspot.com. Everything's lived through something. Okay. So, there you go. That's that. Yeah. So, we're going to... Obviously, Matt, Matt's... Well, I'm not going to say obviously. <laughs> that sounded like a dick move. I was just saying... <laughs> Obviously, as you can see, Matt is not here again. He's up at his brother's house. He said he's sorry, and he will do an individual video with me sometime this week. And that will be up. And I don't know what it'll Maybe be Maybe you guys can play some Dragon Ball Z. Oh, my God, no. <laughs> Jesus, I'm not playing that like, fucking here, game. Here, attack, play. I hate right. that game. All right, whose turn combat. was it? Uh, what is this? Initiate uh, combat. It's too fucking complicated. I don't even know. I don't think it was that complicated. No, this fucking guy. <laughs> well... It was stupid. It was very <laughs> stupid. So, anyway, maybe we'll do a podcast about a little video about Doom or something. I don't know. But, Pokemon... This is the news, but Pokemon's 20th anniversary is ever approaching on the 27th. Mm-hmm. I think that's the day we record stuff, if I'm mm-hmm. not mistaken. Something around it. So, so we'll do something What you think on that gonna, podcast. You think something's going to come out? Some trailers? Some yeah, that's the another. day we record is Pokemon's 20th anniversary. So we'll do a little something, something about that. So we're going to save all that talk for then. <laughs> but first, we'll jump in to the news you should know. There's a decent amount of items. This one, I already wrote a little piece saying congratulations. At GDC 2016, the man, the myth, the legend, <laughs> Todd Howard, will be honored with the Lifetime Achievement Award for his 22 years of service at Bethesda. I said this many times, Todd Howard's my favorite game developer of all time. Mm-hmm. And, God. I mean, just from Elder Scrolls and Fallout. I mean, I guess because the Elder Scrolls series is my favorite series, then I guess he would be my favorite developer. But honestly, until I, I knew what the guy looked like, but I don't, I don't know their names. Like, the only reason I know Kojima's name is because of all the hubbub that happened recently. Otherwise, yeah. I didn't know it. I know surprisingly amount, a good amount of... Like about devs names and I remember that there's a Gears of War dude Cliff Blazinski something he's yeah. a badass him um, beyond that man I really don't keep track of game developers yeah so I mean they should get it is the like most thankless job out there is like making video games yes because you pour like your heart and soul into the game and then it comes out and people just wait a couple months till it's like five dollars and buy it See, the the thing <laughs> I said about him in my article was. Every time he walked on stage or got interviewed, I was like, "Oh man, someone's about oh, to he was a great, go down." He was a great presenter. Oh, when he showed Fallout Four, you could tell he was like oh. really passionate about Fallout when he was like yeah. showing the awards. It's it's the best fucking game ever. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so he said something God. like that. So I respect it when a guy cares that much. I uh, he's the absolute. Mm-hmm. He's the fucking man. So 
Congratulations, Todd Howard. You're the fucking man. Thank you for making so many amazing things. And if nothing else, thank you for making Elder Scrolls. Oh, thank God. <laughs> you know what I wish Todd Howard would do? I wish he would just, like, take a copy of Two Worlds and just burn it on stage and be like, how dare you say this is Oblivion He on pays stage. respect to Two Worlds. <laughs> I'm still going to make the video where I just absolutely mutilate You haven't because you're afraid. No, because I need to do it at your house and I can't do anything here because I don't have a backyard yet. Maybe when I rent my new house. And maybe in April I'll do it. We'll see. Anyway, next piece of news. You know that game's like Jumanji, right? Like you think you destroy it and you'll find it buried in your Dude, drywall I'll or something. Fucking <laughs> lose my mind. <laughs> like you'll just be walking through the house at night, you'll just hear, ooh, a little dog. Oh, God. <laughs> no! <laughs> Fuck. Oh, God. All right. Next piece of news Doom is coming May 13th. To Xbox One, PS4, and PC simultaneously. Bethesda also announced the release of a premium collector's edition, as well as bonuses for players who pre-order the game. In the collector's edition, you get a 12-inch stall statue of the Revenant Demon, modeled in actual in-game 3D files. The statue is mounted on an LED-lit base with internal slow-spinning turbine from the UAC facility on Mars. Cool. <laughs> I gotta tell you, that May 13th uh, date kind of surprised me. I was thinking yeah, a bit close. later for Doom. I yeah. was thinking, like, maybe fall or something. Now they're just bringing it out. I saw the gameplay footage that they're releasing. It looks awesome. Yeah, I was gonna say, they released, yeah. uh, they dropped a new campaign trailer yeah. as well. It's gonna be funny. I was listening to a podcast. There was a bunch of these people. I, he, said, um, he said, I wonder how many people are gonna say, oh, man, they just copied Master Chief's look at the <laughs> Doom guy. Be like, no, no, no. <laughs> Master Chief was a copy of the Doom guy. <laughs> well, that's like people that say, um, Ice Ice Baby, uh, I mean, another one bites the dust just copies Ice Ice Baby or something. <laughs> God damn it. So many. Yeah, it's just a ignoramuses. misunderstanding. But man, I tell you, that Doom gameplay. It looks cool. Uh, I'm, I'm still on the fence about it. Yeah, like I'm, said, I'm a little I'm not... bit too. I'm definitely going to wait for some reviews on it, but. Uh, it looks like just that, that they didn't even show any multiplayer the game's got multiplayer you know unlike you know a bunch of other games where they just show you the multiplayer the single player looks fun as hell yeah so and when they have that whole like time attack version of it where like you're trying to beat your friend's scores on a level and stuff like that can be really fun uh, I don't know I don't know if I need another one yeah I don't know if I need another game I might have, I might have beaten the witness by then so we'll see oh we'll save that for later <laughs> That's going to be my topic okay. of discussion. <laughs> I'm like fucking pulling my hair out. That's why I don't have a beard anymore. I ripped it all out. <laughs> and, anyway, all right, Walt. So, do you want to go third-party Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo news? Start Nintendo. Nintendo? Warns, okay. Figured it'll be a fun way to pick the news. No. Let's pick topics. All right. The most popular Amiibo... By region, the 2015 was announced. Okay. So, for Japan, the most popular amiibos. Can I guess? You won't guess correctly, but yes, you can. For Japan. See, now you're telling me I have to go outside the box You guess. really do. For number one, what's the number one? J Japanese amiibo. Yes, in Japan. Game & Watch. Really far out there, but no. <laughs> A little... I don't know if I don't know what to say less or not. It's about equal. <laughs> okay. All right. Number one, <laughs> the girl from Splatoon. Okay. Yeah, I wouldn't have got that. Number two, I'll Smash just finish Bros. this out. Number two, the squid from Splatoon. Oh god. <laughs> number three, the boy from Splatoon. <laughs> they all come in a pack. I don't know oh, if you okay. realize this. Okay. Uh, all right. <laughs> all right. What's number four? <laughs> I, mean, I, went, I thought Game and Watch is pretty like. You know, yeah, that was like I, I couldn't. I didn't know what was more out there, girl or <laughs> girl Mr. Kim. Is that his name? It says girl, parentheses Splatoon, because it's your it's player. Really just <laughs> girl, maybe one squid, three boy. I'll just finish it up. Number four, Mario. Number five, classic Mario, eight bit. Number six, modern Mario. <laughs> Jesus. I'm guessing that's the eight bit one too. Seven, Isabel. From uh, Animal Crossing. Oh, okay. Eight, Kirby. Clutch. Nine, <laughs> Green Yarn Yoshi. Clutch. 
10 Digby. Digby. Not clutch. Digby. Another Animal Crossing thing. Okay. All right, North America, can you guess? All These right. ones are a little... Is this one too? No. The first number? Okay. There's no. All right. American number one. Link. Yes. Oh. Number two. Oh. Okay. All right. Mario. No. Damn. Bowser. Number three. All right. I got, I got number three. Okay. I got number three. Yoshi. No. Shit. Toon Link. I was gonna say you already said him. <laughs> number four. Mario. Mewtwo. Which I have. Really? It just came yeah, out. I know. Number five. Pikachu. Sonic. Number six. They're both kind of animals. Yeah. Number six. Pikachu. Yes. Okay. <laughs> number seven. All right, dude, I'm done. All right, number seven, classic Mario. Number eight, Pac-Man. Number nine, Mega Man. Number ten, Ganon. <laughs> Ganon breaking top ten. And finally, Europe. Classic Mario. Oh, I have no idea what the Europeans like. I, those yeah, people are some weird stuff. Just a mixture of the list. <laughs> number one, Classic Mario. Number two, Link. Number three, Squid. Number four, Green Yarn Yoshi. Number five, Mario. Six, Smash Mario? Oh, Super Smash Bros. Mario, I'm guessing. Yeah, yeah the one with Seven, the fireball. Yeah. Seven, Pikachu. Eight, Boy. <laughs> Nine, Toad. <laughs> Ten, Girl. <laughs> Gotta love that. <laughs> Alright, you know what? I got number one first guess for North America. You so did. I'll take that. That's good. So, we're just gonna finish Nintendo news. Off. There's another one. Alright. Over six million courses have been created in Super Mario Maker. Oh, is that it? I absolutely love this game. So, are you gonna beat it? Yeah. All six million? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> of course. <laughs> it's like, what if you only have to beat the top 0.1% in difficulty of six million levels? I don't even know what I would do. You don't know what you do? Yeah, they're like, you have to defeat all the levels. <laughs> oh, God. So then, <laughs> the next piece of Nintendo news is their new mobile game is going to be getting discussed soon, and it's supposed to feature an iconic character. Who you got? You can throw it in. Who you got? Mario. It's pretty safe. I was, yeah, was expecting you yeah. to be a little ballsy about it. All right, fine. <clears throat> Mario, Link, or Pikachu. There you go. Come on, Safe. <laughs> I mean, what if it's just a brand new Metroid game? Like, Oh my god. <laughs> fucking. But I not... will be done with Nintendo. But <laughs> like, if it's just like Temple Here's Run? <laughs> the Metroid <laughs> game you've been waiting for on iOS and Android. I'll be like. It's just like Temple Run. Though. Here's the gun the I've been waiting to put in my mouth and my Wii U first. <laughs> So you're going to murder-suicide your Wii U? Oh, like I said, if NX is something crazy, I'm selling Like a touchscreen phone? Oh, my God. <laughs> Even though, if it's, like, the app thing, and you can, like, buy the game on amazing. the PS4. Oh, my God, I know. Get to use a PS4 controller, a functioning, regular <laughs> controller. Oh. Yeah, so I mean, Mario, Pikachu, any kind of Pokemon, really. Pretty, pretty yeah. easy, pretty easy bet, I'd say. So... The last piece of Nintendo news. Pokemon Go. Its developer will be discussing the game at GDC. This Are you ready for that augmented James... reality Pokemon? <laughs> See, this is a this is something that James was... A, he's like, oh, are you excited for? Are you going to play it? I'm like, probably not. Mm -hmm. He's like, why? It's just... Because I don't want to just be fucking walking around somewhere. It's like, oh, man, there's Pokemon's here. Are you going to fucking catch it? I'm like, You know no. what that could be a cool pairing with if they ever did? HoloLens. Yeah. Yeah, that could be cool. Like, if you could, like, make your house hoeing. You know? Yeah. One, the amount of battery drain that would fucking have on my phone would be insane. Uh, I mean, if it's like, me, if like, it's hey, like streaming, fucking... if like streaming video is like, I mean, I don't think it'd be, the, I don't think it'd be as serious as maybe you think it is. Get an alert. Oh, the fucking Pidgey around. Like, oh, I don't fucking want it. It's like you filter your alerts out. It's like, let me know when Entei shows up. Oh, Otherwise, man, you, I'm at work on the runway. They're like, Lugia is out on the runway. I'm like, I'm fucking going. He's like, God, get off the runway. <laughs> Pick up the radio. Everyone, the runway is fucking closed. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to oh, get Lugia. It's a wild Lugia out there. Better watch out. And I'm, and I don't know. Do you, like, train the Pokemon I don't know. I know, you can, I know you, like, can battle with people. Okay. 
Because, like, that, you know, because I don't want to just, like, catch a Lugia and then, like, not get to At least use that's it. what the trailers have mm -hmm. uh, shown. They're like, you can battle. Hinted at. That's okay. what I was looking for. So. We'll see. So, PlayStation, Xbox, or third party? Let's go PlayStation. Okay. Uncharted 4, Thief's End, PS4 bundle coming in April. I saw that PS4, though. That's pretty fucking cool. Yeah, the one with, like, him cut in half on the side. He's just chilling with his gun. Got the custom controller. Got to kill the foreigners. Custom thing. That's what's up. <laughs> Uncharted 4 is going to be fucking great. I'd say you just buy the sticker. Fucking wait. You just buy the Uncharted 4 sticker. Yeah, you could, yeah. You could do that. I can't fucking wait. God. So... The last piece of PS4 mm -hmm. news is The Witness brought in over $5 million in its first week. Ooh. Sold over 100,000 units of the game already. So it was digital only, wasn't it? Yes. Okay. Yes, and this is special to us because, uh, well, we've been on The Witness train since... I think we got on a couple days late because I waited a bit. Oh, but, God. like, probably three or four days after its release, we jumped on The Witness train and... Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's it's fucking amazing. I can't say I'm like really enjoying myself. <laughs> I can't. It's Nick. It'll be like Dark Souls. You enjoy it after you beat it. We'll discuss this later because <laughs> that's gonna be for the Triforce topic. So okay. all we have is third party left. So I'll just no go. Xbox? Oh yeah, really? One Xbox. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Oh wait, there's one more PlayStation. Thing coming i forgot sorry my computer's loading bad one more playstation three prototype maps are coming to rocket league new maps new layouts yeah brand new clutch. maps did you More. see that you see some of the layouts i did not and they look like they're going to change the game i can't wait i'll get back in i have to you can get your little ign flag i wonder why i gotta call him be like let's get a live through games flag in there why not you know we're americans Let's fucking do it. <laughs> Which, and then I could say, we already have a Lufu Games flag. It's the American flag. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Oh, God. What was my fucking flag? I had a cool one. I can't remember what it was. I cycled between the American flag and Team Fat flag. <laughs> <laughs> no, I had something. I had something that I liked. I can't remember what it was. The, the Xbox version is getting Sunset Overdrive DLC added onto it. And fucking... Halo and Halo Gears. gear, uh, a yeah. lot of shit. So it's pretty cool. Well, they got to entice the people that like got the Rocket League for free to pick it up for Xbox One. So yeah. they added a couple stuff. Yeah, the the Sunset Overdrive one is like your boost trail. Do we click record on yeah, that? Record. Okay, I was gonna say I was like, wait, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wait, I don't remember um, clicking. The uh, the boost is like the energy drink coming oh, out of the car. Oh man, that's cool. Yeah, <laughs> that, that's cool. I, I I did very much enjoy that game. So. <laughs> Xbox news, one piece of Xbox news, is Arbiter is coming to Killer Instinct. To add on to that, because that's, I mean, that's what Nick's most excited about. They revealed Kim Woo as a new yeah, character no, for season character. three. Well, I'm not going to sit here and say I'm excited, but for it's Kim like, cool, <laughs> no, for Arbiter. I don't really play Killer Instinct, but, but I'll, I'll load it. I up. highly recommend Killer Instinct to anybody who enjoys fighting games. It's got the best tutorial for a fighting game, as far as, like, mm. this is how you play the goddamn game. You know, that Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat and Ultimate Marvel are severely lacking. Like, Killer Instinct shows you how to play it. Uh, it doesn't require you to be amazing at combos to be good at the game. That's another plus, because I know that's, like, the most daunting thing is people is, like, getting the combos and everything. So you don't need to be good at combos. You just need to be good at pressing buttons and then special move and then a button and then a special move. Like, it's super easy. Then, yeah, it's amazing. Kim Woo, she's a ninja chick with nunchucks. Cool. End of the trailer, they teased Arbiter coming to Killer Instinct with his special big energy sword, like orange or something. Uh, the, I forgot what it was called. It's like kind of see-through, but it's yeah, orange. Yeah, it's like a special sword. I forgot the name. I forgot <clears throat> yeah. what it was called. The but Prophet's Bane. That is such a fucking cool name for a sword. I know. Dude, <laughs> whenever he pulls the Prophet's Bane out in the story <laughs> and you're you're with you're playing his lock uh -huh. and you're on the Sangili home world there the elites he's like oh he's like if they expect me to beg that he's like 
and roll over and beg for mercy like they'll be sadly mistaken. He just whips the sword out and just starts just fucking murking people. And I'm just sitting there, I'm like, I didn't even do anything. Like, do you? He's just running around. Yeah. Just, whoo, whoo, whoo. yeah, so he'll be he'll be joining the growing uh, season three roster, which is uh, looking like it's gonna be pretty crazy. We've got Rash from Battle Toads coming in. Yes. Kim Wu. Well, he's already in, I think. Rash. No, they had a little beta test for him. Ah, they put him out as like a beta to see what was wrong with him, but they're, he's coming in season three. And then Kim Wu, and I'm missing somebody else that's going to be in the game, but I can't remember. But, and then Shadow Jay? Arbiter. He's already in. Oh. Yeah, it doesn't matter. All that matters is Arbiter <laughs> and Rash. That's all that matters. <laughs> These cameos are killing me. Oh, boy. Chad, what are you up to? Okay. I'll tell him to come to the place. All right. <laughs> this is personal stuff. Don't worry about this. So, yeah, Xbox News, so third party. What do we got? All right, third party news. Do you want to get the boring get stuff the boring out of the way? Let's get it for you. All right. H1Z1 is being made into two games confirmed for consoles. Both will be available for $20. H1Z1 Just Survive will have a renewed focus on persistent open world survival experience where players will have to scavenge, craft, and build bases to survive from the zombie threat. And H1Z1 King of the Kill. I see what you did there. Will be more of a, quote, fast-paced shooter, end quote, focused on the fight to the death game modes, including a popular Battle Royale. Both games will be given their own dedicated development resources. I thought they were going to go servers there. There you go. H1Z1. Boom. Never got to play it myself. It was, on, it was in alpha forever. I always have this story. I'll always have the story of Matt. I think that's Daisy. Hearing Matt. Isn't it the same thing? What's H1Z1? I think DayZ is what Matt was playing. Yeah, what the fuck is H1Z1? Tell us in the it. comments what the fuck H1Z1 I is. I thought it was the same thing. I don't think it is. Because I thought DayZ was the mod for the game, and H1Z1 is the game they're making of the mod. That's what I thought it was. I know it's fucking confusing. I don't know. Whatever. Let us know in the comments what the yeah, fuck H1Z1 I, I'm is. I'm sorry. I don't know. I don't play computer games. That was a computer game. It's a fucking zombie game. They're all like goddamn the same. Let's just call it how it is. All right. This is making people salty. <laughs> Hearthstone gets more deck slots to compensate for new formats, which will now squelch out old cards and tactics. Squelch. Because they're saying... Hey, all those, they're going to cycle out cards and shit every year to keep people going Ooh, and shit. They're going to make people have to spend money They're going to pull the Magic well. the Gathering. That's what Magic does. But an update. Blit from IGN. Steven Strom said, Blizzard reached out to us to clarify it's reevaluating a number of basic and classic cards to make adjustments to the account for the removal of Knacks and Goblins versus Gnome cards. This is to ensure Blizzard calls, oh, sorry, a truly dynamic environment. Further changes will only be necessary if the initial wave of changes don't accomplish that goal. I think you meant to say doesn't accomplish that goal. But whatever. So they're kicking out cards every year now. That's what Magic does, right? Basically. At least on the, like, the pro but or professional or whatever. They're like, hey, you guys have been complaining about deck slots. We doubled it, but <laughs> all those cards you're using. At the very least, like for like it's an fine. unranked match or something, you should be able to use your old cards. Like, at the very yeah. least that. that like... My whole take on it, it's a fresh way to get people to use new cards and not be stuck in the old thing. And, I mean, if you're, let's be real, if you're still playing Hearthstone right now, which is fucking popular as fuck, so I'm not saying it's not popular. But if you're still playing Hearthstone, you're really in Hearthstone. So Probably. I don't think those people, <laughs> the people who buy the expansions, yeah, like me, I liked Hearthstone, I never spent a dime on it. The people who put money into Hearthstone really like that game, I don't think it's that big of a deal. So So we'll see. I don't. I don't see it as like alienating too many players. I see, like I said, like there should be an unranked option or something where you can just use anything. I'm sure there will be. Yeah. So I like that. And the last piece of third party news, the one I watched this trailer so many times. It was so amazing. <sighs> Lego Star Wars Episode <laughs> Seven has been confirmed. Deluxe editions and details have been revealed. The trailer was so good. Like I fucking love this trailer for it. I'm pretty pumped. So uh, let me get some info from here. It also reveals that story details where some parts of the game will explore the time between Return of the Jedi and The Force Awakens. So it's gonna show some new content. Yeah, but too. it's gonna be like 
a Lego version of whatever happens, which just means it's going to be, like, silly and ridiculous. <laughs> Lego Star 1, the deluxe edition of it, will have an exclusive Finn minifigure, as well as a droid character packed and phantom limb levels for the PS4 version of the game. And with both current gen deluxe versions, you get the season pass as well. And it is launching on June 28th for everything. <laughs> PS3, Xbox 360, Wii U, PS4, Xbox One, 3DS, PC, and Vita. So, this trailer was absolutely amazing. When Kylo, Lego Kylo Run came out and was yeah. like, try to turn his lightsaber yeah. on, only the ends turn yeah. on in the top, and he's like, oh, the <laughs> <laughs> so I fucking love that. Like, I, I'm a little interested because the other Lego Star Wars games were pretty fucking cool. I enjoyed. I never them. really played them. They were on like the original Xbox and stuff. So I'm, I'm pretty pumped. God, I'm so excited. Well, to finish this with non-video game news, I feel like it's news worth talking about. All right. Vin Diesel posted an Instagram photo. Confirming the new Fast movies. And it says, two decades, ten films, films, one one saga. saga. And Furious 9 and 10. And Furious 9 will release April 19th, 2019. And Furious 10, April 2nd, 2021. I can't (laughs) fucking wait. You can't wait five years? (laughs) No, I'm so excited. There's going to be one 2017, 2019. Oh my god. This is what we're saying. I'm gonna have. This is what we live in in movies now. We basically have a shitload of superhero movies we like. Mm-hmm. We have Star Wars movies every year. Right. Now we have Fast and the Furious every other year. You're forgetting Born. I yeah, that's back, but that's not here every year. That's right. like. Right. That's a special. Oh treat. my god! I know. Oh, dude, I mm, <laughs> I can't wait for this. And I didn't. And we didn't even talk about it because it happened like in the middle. What? Boba Fett. Leaked possibly from um, Lego. He's gonna be in. Oh my god! He's gonna be a Star Wars Rogue One. <laughs> I don't know if my body can comprehend <laughs> that. If he shows up in the trailer for it, like I couldn't, have, dude. Like, could you imagine them ending the trailer? You're showing the shot. He's like flips around from the shadows. Oh, they're like we can see, only I'm get one man. I'm picturing oh. a camera coming down as like from the top to bottom with a black silhouette, so you can just kind of tell it's his dude. Oh. Fuck, they're like, we hired a bounty hunter to do this. And then all you hear is, you don't even see him, all you hear is, they're no good to me, dead. Dude, oh. <laughs> they're like, we hired a bounty hunter. It's like, we heard he's one of the You best. hired the scum bounty hunter? <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, dude, I won't be able to handle it that often. I'll be so fucking excited. I'll go, Woo! I'll, I'll audibly stand up in the movie theater and be like, yes! <laughs> so, all of you haters! Oh, another thing, this is Super Bowl weekend, so... Actually, you'll probably have already seen the Super Bowl by the time this comes yeah. out. But uh, there's supposed to be a Cap 3 trailer on the Super Bowl. With Spider-Man? Ooh. That there's a strong Ooh. hint that Spider-Man footage will be shown in the Super Bowl trailer. He was on set a little bit ago, so... So, if, that, if he just whips wrong. in, that could be it right there. Of course, I could be completely wrong, and the people watching this are like, no, you fucking idiot, he wasn't in the trailer. Well, don't be negative. He's going to be in the trailer, guys, all right? Rewind it and you'll see him. He's in the background somewhere. Yeah, he's just sticking on the wall or something. That would be funny, though, if he was just sticking on the wall. He just web swings in the back. You don't he's just, see. like, in the background of the whole movie. Like, he's, just, he's just, like, swinging around or something. While You're, like, in the fight. He's, like, woo, taking pictures. Yeah. That would be funny. It's, like, while they're all fighting, he's just, like, ah, I don't want to get in the middle of this. This seems like a big thing. So, do you want to go comments first or... Try for it. Right. Comments first. Nintendo fan. NX is going to blow PS4 and Xbox One out of the water. Just wait. That's I'm bold. waiting. That's bold. I'm waiting. I'm not against it. I'm I've not been against waiting. it. If NX, I am. I want NX to come out and do that. My heart of hearts says it won't. I'm guessing that Nintendo fan has no bias. At look, all for bi- Nintendo. Look, it's his <laughs> right as a human being to have bias. If you want to have bias, you can have bias. But yeah, we're biased fan. towards Jason Bourne. I will know? reply to you right now <laughs> in this comment. This is a live reply right here. I'm replying. Thoughts on the Wii U game pad. I mean... Let me know what you think of the Wii U game pad. Like, 
if the NX, I just, uh, like, it would be amazing if it did, don't you think? If it just came out and, like, now Xbox One and PS4 have to do catch-up to That's Nintendo. That's not going to happen. It's not, I know. Don't we just, can't we all just realize, like, I've been more hopeful than anyone, I think, with all my bold predictions. Can we just all realize that we're going to be let down? They're going to have that blueprint, like, touchscreen controller. It's not, it's going to be, like, 900p, just like the Xbox. We're not going to get any of the games we want. Let's just be real. See, I'm... I'm being real. I don't know. I'm not, I don't want to I'm set not my, ready to say that just yet. I don't want to set if, myself up. If I see, when they first announce the NX and they, they have the whole demonstration, if I see the touchscreen controller... Then I'll know you're right. They won't have to finish their conference. If they have a touch, I'll just fucking shut them off. <laughs> no, like, I'm not. I won't. Finish. Yeah, I'll have to. <laughs> but I'm gonna have to get like a barf bucket like, next to me. Now watch as we play, dude. I'll look at the touch screen. I'll pick up the Fisher the Fisher Price tablet and be like, I'm sorry I ever said anything bad about you. It's like you have buttons I mean, at least. I, I respect an optimist. I'll say that in ten fan. It's harder to be an optimist than a pessimist. Yeah, you can put an exclamation point. It is here. easy to be a pessimist, and it's hard to be an optimist. So Good I respect job. that, Nintendo fan. Anonymous asks, thoughts on Bayonetta and Corrin Smash Bros. DLC? Why don't you go ahead and tell me your thoughts, Nick? I hate Bayonetta <laughs> as a character, but she's decent. Corrin, I have no... I, I think Corrin sucks as a character, personally. Bayonetta's witch time is... Her insanely counter. overpowered. It slows you down for like a long. I think time. it depends on how well you time it. Yeah, and it like, also I heard if you the more you use it, like the less time. It, right. But still, it's fucking ridiculous. Like I think it's like if you like time it perfectly, just like in the game, if you time it perfectly, it's like you get more a bit more time to f people up. But my thoughts as far as DLC character choices, Bayonetta was an amazing choice. Corin was a choice. Like it was just. And just because Sakurai likes Fire Emblem. It was very uninspired. I think there was a lot of other... I Like, instead of, you know, Bayonetta being the number one usable character for Nintendo, Corrin should have been the number two usable character for Nintendo. Don't you think? I mean... Yeah. I. That would have assuredly been Shovel Knight. So... But my thoughts... So don't be mad at Bayonetta. <laughs> This man should be in the game. You know, he's going to grow out here for the rest of it. All just right. to hold the fort down. That's Shovel Knight in case our camera angle isn't great. Yeah. They always know. They can <laughs> sense Shovel Knight's presence. So, but, yeah, I mean, as far as how they play, I think Bayonetta is really good. She's really, she feels like Bayonetta, the way she combos and stuff. And I like that, that, you know, she just, just feel like a Smash character with a Bayonetta skin. She feels like Bayonetta. Uh, Corrin, I have no comparison. I don't know. I don't yeah, play Fire I, I, Emblem. She... He, she, because it's it's like Robin. It could be male or female. Yeah, I'll your, just say he. It's for your purposes. main character. I I want to try one of those games so bad. I'm almost. I think I almost want to ask you if I could borrow your 3ds yeah, and play the new Fire Emblem. Well, actually, as Blair. <laughs> Damn it, Blair! Stop playing fucking Animal Crossing. I'll get you an amiibo. I'll get you a an Animal all Crossing amiibo. day, every day. Damn it! All day, every day, Animal Crossing. God. <laughs> I think your fucking house can survive. <laughs> Damn it. Maybe she'll like Fire Emblem. Who knows? Unless know. it has to do with fucking planting trees and shit. She's not going to be into it. Yeah, it doesn't. I don't know. So, but I mean, Corin, Corin, it's like Robin. It's, it's kind of like Robin, the way she hits. Um, she has a Samus kind of special move, like the charge shot. Yeah. She's got that. She's got one unique thing about her, and that's that side B attack. Yeah, where it sticks yeah. in the ground, or you can like originally you... when I used that move, mm -hmm. I didn't know to tap it again, and it just did the jump. I was like, "Right!" I thought it was a counter. I was like, "What the fuck is yeah. going on right now?" And then I accidentally I did it in the air. Yeah, and if you do it in the air, it automatically does yeah. it. So now I know B, yeah. then B. Pretty again. unique little side B attack. That's that's cool. Otherwise, it's just kind of an uninspired character. Kind of disappointing for their final round for Bayonetta to be quality, but Corn to just be yeah solid but uninspired. You know. Safe. Yes. Another, you know, Japanese person with a sword. It's Overall, like... decent. I really think they should have ended with Cloud. To be honest. Or, like, you know, Corrin comes out when Cloud comes out. Yeah. And then Cloud and Finish with, Yeah. Finish with Cloud. Yeah. But... Or, you know, finish with Goku or Shovel Knight or, <laughs> you know, any character that anyone Fucking really... Fucking Goku. 
Ben Adams up I don't there. fucking believe any of all these people. We're like, oh, I really... I, no, you didn't. You voted for Goku. Stop lying. I voted for Ben Adams. You voted for Goku. Everyone <laughs> stopped lying. That was the first one. I didn't vote for Goku because I didn't think it was even fucking worth voting for Goku because I didn't think it would happen. And I worked... God, they could have got Dante in there. Capcom was working with them. They gave him Mega Man and Ryu and all that. God, fuck, damn. I'm done. I <laughs> Wait, don't you wanted Dante in there? That would have been... Not new Dante. Old Dante. OG Well, new Dante. Dante is Ninja Theory, so... Good, I don't want that scum in Dude, there. that game was really oh, fucking God. good. Yeah, but not the Dante for me. That's all I'll say. Not the Dante for me. Well, heck, don't even make it Dante. Make it Virgil. I like... I like... We'll make it old Virgil. We don't want new Virgil either. <laughs> well, yeah, either. Well, both Virgils are cool. The last comment... You know what? I'm going to start calling you my boy. Now, Young King 1994. Mm hmm You have good questions. Will The Witness influence any future games? No. <laughs> Alright, done. <laughs> I'm sorry. No. Um, it'll influence puzzle games and adventure games. But I don't... And Young King 1994 also said our new Podcast Reloaded logo... Podcast Reloaded logo looks fresh. Fresh. Thank you. It took me all of like fifteen minutes, maybe, to make it. Uh, the witness influencing other games. Uh, I don't know, because I mean, I you could kind of say the witness kind of feels like everybody's gone to the rapture with puzzles, if you wanted to kind of make that comparison. But like, I was trying to just I was talking to. Um, somebody about the game i think it was mike i was talking to somebody about the game and i said and he's like isn't that the game where you kind of walk around and solve puzzles and i said describing the witness like you just walk around and solve puzzles is like describing dark souls as a game where you just walk around and light bonfires <laughs> it just doesn't really so... com doesn't really give you the idea of what's happening so will it influence games no i don't think so um at least to me, I don't think it will. I think it'll give other puzzle games a bit more yeah. leeway. Because, like, okay, this puzzle game, The Witness, that is, it's a puzzle game at its core, did really well. So, maybe it'll give, like, developers freedom to do other puzzle games and, like, make them a bit more high quality. Because, like, okay, we can get our return back if we make a good puzzle game. So, yeah. I think I could see that. So, segue <laughs> into the Triforce of Topics, or... We should just really change this to, like, just the duo of topics for now. Matt, I'm calling you out. This is your idea to do it tonight. But anyway. Well, Mark, <laughs> Jesus, sorry. <laughs> Don't do that. Anyway. My topic okay. is The Witness. Mm -hmm. We've played it. We both have beaten three areas? I have two trophies areas, at least. I have three trophies. Three trophies of areas. I know one of them you didn't beat, and I beat, right, and monastery. vice versa. Monastery, and then Shady Trees. Oh, my fucking God. No. So, fucking come at me when you get to the swamp. I don't even want to hear Walt, this. <laughs> no, you know what? You know what's bullshit about the monastery? What? It took me 40 minutes to find the first puzzle to solve. <laughs> That's why I want to see you when you get in there. Because I want to see you find it. Uh, I walked around... Because there's the panels, but they're all dark. Right. And I was like, where the fuck? I'm like following. I'm like, where is this? I was looking for like 40 minutes. <laughs> and I finally found it. I was like, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> That's where, salty, what it is. You were salty? I was pretty pissed. I was like, are you fucking... <laughs> and then, the thing you do to solve those puzzles. Not very obvious. I'll say the least. At this least the other ones... can be described as not At very least obvious. with the other ones. There was like a, oh, you gotta... To, like get the white and black blocks yeah. separate, put them like in the yeah. whole thing. But this one, it's like no, this where I am, and there's a good portion of the internet that agrees that where I'm at is one of the hardest places in the game. Oh, yeah, this is gonna be spoiler free, by the way. Yeah, we're not gonna. Why? There's not. It's hard to spoil the game. So to be honest. in the desert temple. Mm -hmm. Were you a little salty when you figured out that last like monitor? you couldn't figure out the one that's like you can't get the light to hit yeah. it so you got to go behind the other thing yeah. yeah i know i was walking around that puddle yep <laughs> trying to look at the light yep. for probably 20 minutes yep. because i saw the wood block in the other thing so i was like well what am i supposed to do like 
it's like can I get behind it? And then it's like you get behind it, you gotta reverse it and flip it upside down. Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> yeah. It's but that, that that leaf monastery. Fucking I'll, I'll do it. Salt. After I'm done with the temple, I'm sure I can do it in like five minutes. Oh, if you find <laughs> you might be able to. No, because I'm where I am, the it's you gotta make like Tetris shapes. Like what it is. They take the, the shape the Tetris symbol that you see in the block and all the other ones that are on the board. You have to draw a shape that fits every Tetris thing perfectly with no wasted squares and every symbol has to be inside that shape. Oh, God, dude. Fuck that. Dude. Oh, my God. This is what I'm saying. I am 17 puzzles deep in the swamp. I still don't understand. <laughs> like, I have to have done 16 other ones. And <laughs> on this one, I just still don't get it. I don't know. If I beat this game without using a guide, it I will mark this as my greatest gaming accomplishment. I haven't better used than one Dark yet. Souls 2, better than all these things. I, I I haven't I haven't yet. I beat Dark Souls 1 without a guide, but the game had been out for so long, I'd known enough. Like I yeah. like from talking out here people talk about like Orange Scene and Smoke is hard. Dex builds are really good. Sorcery is really good. Like, I've heard all that, you know. That's why I say Dark Souls 2, because Dark Souls... I didn't beat Dark Souls 2, but I sort of... Dark Souls 1. Oh, okay. But I sort of, like, knew the beginning path, like, where to go, because I've yeah. seen Mike and Matt and everyone do it so many times, and yeah. Andrew, so I sort of knew where to go. Yeah, but like, for a lot of bosses, I already knew the strategy going in, kind of thing, even though I didn't use a guy. Someone... Or Jared Petty, IGN, they were talking about this game on Game Scoop, and they said that his thing was, this is the best... Metroidvania game ever and his reasoning with Metroidvania is, is you go to areas you can't get through certain doors until you, until you get the super missile but in this one you could theoretically get through that door but you don't have the knowledge if you're lucky as f- but you don't have the knowledge to get through mm-hmm. so you go back do other things and come back after you f- figure out the rules mm-hmm. and unlocking your mind is sort of yeah. like getting super missiles to open the door yeah. and stuff so pretty cool way to look at it and then there's a lot of cool stuff like audio logs. I found. Like, I still haven't four. found one. <laughs> I, I kind of want to show you a picture of one, just kind of so you know what to look for, like in the environment. Yeah, I but, still haven't found one. But uh, I've like I I've raised a boat. You can raise a boat, and like it goes around the island, kind of like a fast travel thing. Huh. And uh, but while the boat's sailing, there's just an audio log sitting on the rock, like as I'm sailing past it, like I barely got it. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> but every single one of them is like this philosophical or scientific um thought from some scientist that or philosopher that every single one of them is like huh okay man i don't know like i can't sit here and say when i'm playing that game i'm having fun (laughs) but when i beat each a puzzle i'm like yep i always i have to end on a good note even though sometimes you got to sleep on it oh i I don't. When I, pop I go that, until I go until I. I when I pop, when I see that trophy <laughs> pop, I'm out. <laughs> no, I'm like I'm done. Like I, when I beat the tree monster, I was like, I'm out. I'm done for the night. I haven't turned it on since. Dude, I yesterday. go until I hit a wall. Like I, I. That's why when I first sat down and played, I played for two and a half or three hours, straight. I played until I just could not play anymore. Like, I'm out. <laughs> Fuck this. Oh, man. It's so it's so good. It's so pretty. Oh my god! It's yeah, such a pretty the, game. the world's great. It's such a pretty game. Um, there's so many cool little perspective things you find. Like there's um, without spoiling anything, you know the big mountain in the center. Yeah. I journeyed to the top of it just for poops and giggles to see what it was. Don't waste your time. Yeah, you can't solve anything. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to. <laughs> but there's a big statue of a woman on the mountain, like a really tall one, and she's yeah. like reaching out like this. Yeah, there's another statue that you can like. If you like, yeah. Meet, like, so you you've been there. You saw. It? I saw. Uh, like whenever I watched the review. Oh, okay. Because that's the swamp area. It's that perspective is at the swamp area. So. <laughs> oh, I'm not going there. <laughs> <laughs> but um. Fuck that. But so I saw that. Like I didn't know anything about that, and I just saw that statue, and then I'm walking around, and I see this perspective thing. And I was like, that's that's crazy. Like something like that is cool. Oh, it's a great game. I'm gonna beat it. Yeah. I'm gonna beat it. I might I might platinum. I might beat the challenge. I don't know, Walt. Will you beat this particular challenge? <laughs> I will beat the challenge. Oh, it's like, oh, thanks for being so specific. Maybe it's beating the game. No, that's its own trophy. Oh, I know. I'm like, oh, great. I'm just fucking happy. It's like, oh, beat every puzzle. 
No, I don't want to do that. I just want to beat the fucking game. I'm that up. probably includes the environmental puzzles. The ones that you have to, like... You remember in Arkham Asylum where you have to stand at the perfect thing to get the question mark to appear? You have to do that in this? Oh, my... I guarantee that stuff. You have run one. by. So many of them. So many. I'm sure. I was at Desert Ruins when I finally found my first one I saw. And I was like, that looks just like a line. Because I was just standing there. And I drew it out. And it draws. And I was like, what have I been missing this entire... So I went to... I was at the Desert Ruins area. And I just started, like, walking around, and there they are. I'm out. All over the place. Like, I'm, so, I'm, I'm good with the I'll, boards. I'll show, you, I'll show you a couple after this so you can see oh, them. I don't want to. No, you want to see them. I don't want to see them. <laughs> I don't want to see them. I'm good seeing just the fucking little things. No. I don't want to see anything. Nick, I'm, I'm, good. Gonna, I'm showing you. No. It's going to happen. It's not. <laughs> but. Oh, my goodness. That's the witness. That was my... I don't know if you have anything to talk about. I'm trying to think if I do. I kind of just want to talk about The Witness some more. Yeah. God, I'm so... So did you like that Shady Trees one? You told me you did that? Shady Trees. Not Shady Trees. The one with the the apples. Oh. It took me a little bit to figure it out. It took me a bit to find the, the first one. Yeah, well, like, once I figured out what to... Just like with the forest mm-hmm. temple thing. Whatever the fuck it is. Tree Monastery. Oh, okay. Once you figure out what you have to do, it's just a pain in the ass to find what you have to do. Yeah. Once you figure it out, figure out. But the Apple thing, it was... It was a no... Well, I don't want to ruin it, so I feel like I kind of did. But, <laughs> yeah, yeah um, I just... It was hard to find the perspective to yeah. look at it. Because for the longest time, because that was in, like, the beginning of the game, mm-hmm. I thought you had to just stand right up yep. on the thing. So, there you go. There's a little pro tip. You don't have to stand right on it. You can do the puzzle from anywhere. Oftentimes, the solution... You don't stand in front yeah, of it. Yeah. It's, it's outside the puzzle. Yeah. So, I, I, I mean, it's it was good. I, I still haven't found any use for doing that at all. Well, see, it's not about you, Snake. Yeah, I mean, I would hope that <laughs> whatever you get after that little place what? you open up after you finish the mm-hmm. pink trees, there was something useful sitting there, like information. So I, I look back over and I still haven't used anything yet from it. But okay. I don't really care. Alright, I don't have any hormones. Okay. So, I'm thinking the title for this would be something witness related. Witness me. We witnessed the witness. Be like a Mad Max reference. Witness me. <laughs> witness me. Oh, <laughs> that fucking is, crazy. Might be what I end up doing by the time I get the witness. So, this has been episode 58 of Podcast Reloaded. Remember to keep going to the blog and commenting and email us questions and keep liking and subscribing to our YouTube channel. If, if you subscribed once, you know how you can subscribe again. Tell your friend about it and tell him to subscribe and watch. And all that jazz. So, until then, this is me, Nick Cato, Walter Boley, Shovel Knight, the man, right there. He's our Dr. third Pepper. guest. Not a real doctor. God damn it. He's the man. All right, guys, keep gaming. Later. Gaming.